steps back, puts up a three, won't go, rebound tip taken by Spades, final seconds, it's over, it's over! Cleveland is a city of champions once again! The Cavaliers are NBA champions! Let's go, boys! I freaking called it! I feel so freaking good right now, dude! Oh my god! All right, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Zuko here. Hope you guys are actually having a great day today. What a freaking game seven. Like, oh my god. The game was so crazy. Like, honestly, one of the best game sevens I've honestly ever seen. Like, the matches was so close. It wasn't like a blowout between both teams. And it was actually close. And the thing is, right? The thing is, history was made and the funny thing is i even called it on one of my videos the last video that i actually made who's winning i freaking called it out like i honestly don't and once it hit 3-1 right i started to lose hope but you never lose hope that's one thing you never do lose hope on anything and look at that Cavs won four three games back to back like that's ridiculous a lot of people were saying, yo, Golden State's going to blow them out on their home court. And a lot of people support Golden State and Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson and all of them. And honestly, I'm not a hater. I honestly like them. They're, they're not bad. But, you know, I'm not really much a Golden State fan. Like, I like the Heat or the Cavs. You get me? Because my favorite basketball player is Kyrie Irving. I don't know if you guys honestly knew that. But Kyrie Irving went freaking clutch with that three-pointer at the end. Like, who does that? Who does that? Irving and Curry, one-on-one. -on -one. Irving puts it up. It's good! Kyrie Irving from downtown! And the Cavaliers by three! Kyrie Irving, they get exactly what they want. Everybody out of my way. It's time to dance. Gets them one on one, lulls them to sleep, forces a late contest. That three pointer was honestly insane. Like, once he hit that, my reaction was ridiculous. And I wish I had it on camera, but I, I kind of didn't record that. So my predictions came true. After that game six, that game six match was ridiculous. That game six was honestly something that I love to watch. Cats blew him out. Kind of like a blowout. And what about LeBron James? LeBron James went off, man. LeBron James, like, oh my God, LeBron. I know I might sound like a little bit of a freaking NBA brat that probably doesn't know anything about NBA at all, but I honestly love watching basketball. Basketball is one of my favorite sports, and I actually play it till today. And a lot of people that I honestly watch on YouTube, they were over there at game seven. And that's one of my goals, to actually go to a game and, you know, live that YouTube life. You live that YouTube life. The homie Sensor was there. Fousey too. Um, who else? Who else? Rice Gum. There was more people. There was Rice Gum, Fousey, Fwiz. That's, that's my boy right there. I love Fwiz. Um, who else? There was more people. There was more people. Honestly, it was so freaking nice. Like, seeing big people in the YouTube community go to basketball games and express like live their life is something that actually brings me joy and seeing oh Nate Shot was over there too. I can't forget about Nate Shot. Nate Shot was honestly even on World Star Hip Hop because he made this funny line that he was changing his shirt to like he had the Golden State back to back shirt and he honestly changed it to uh Ohio like the hat and he became an Ohio fan which is like you know kind of where Cleveland is it honestly had me in tears and it, it was freaking crazy like I love this time of season where basically like NBA finals are on and it just the anticipation and everything that happens through there the moments you live up to that but all I gotta say is congratulations to the Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James Kyrie all the people that worked their butts off to get to that place like that is true what people say hard work takes you places if you keep working hard keep putting in that extra mile you will be successful you will be successful I don't care what people say you will be successful it might take hours it might take minutes it might take seconds it might take days years decades whatever you want to call it 
you will be successful. And a lot of people, they even made a song for LeBron and Kyrie Irving. And like, I actually made a Vine one day, or not a Vine. It was a, it was a Q and A asking about, do I like Stephen Curry or something? And then I made a, you know, that song that goes, fuck Steph Curry, fuck Steph Curry. I really don't, you know, dislike the man, but I'm not a really big fan of Stephen Curry, but I, I do like. I kind of do like how his, his play style, he just shoots and just like, I start mimicking it, you know, since he like shoots quick. So that is very crazy how my prediction actually came true, that on my t on the top of my head, I was like, yo, Kyrie Irving is gonna go off. Game 7, we are taking this. We Cavaliers are taking this. And people keep saying that the NBA is rigged. The NBA is not rigged. The NBA, if you guys think the NBA is rigged, comment down below. That's one thing. I want to know who thinks the NBA is rigged. And I want to know who was the, like, who, I said who was. Who are the Golden State fans and who are the Cleveland fans. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Honestly, if you guys want to ask me any questions, hit me up on any social media. I'm, I'm available. Twitter. Instagram, Snapchat, even the comment section below. I read comments daily. So make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. This has been your boy Zuko, and I'm out. Peace. Um, you can't feel it all. Uh, uh. Maybe if we loved ourselves, it wouldn't be so hard. Wouldn't be so hard to love each other. I don't think we're in love.